hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this glitchy style transition effect inside of after effects without using any plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in After Effects now. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute. And for the background color, I'll choose solid black color. Now hit OK. Choose grid and guide option and title safe actions. Now, first thing I'll do is I'll import my images over here. These two images. Uh, I'll provide you the links of these images in the description. Now import these images over here and import these images from project panel to our animation panel. Now unhide this, hide this second layer, select this first layer, press S for scaling options and decrease the scale a little bit. Something like this. Now I'll also adjust the scale and position of this second layer and move it over here. This looks good to me. Now for the first thing I'll do is I'll create one null object. I'll parent these two layers with this null object. Press S, create one keyframe over here. Go to 6 seconds and I'll make it 110. So we'll get something like this. Now I'll hide this null one and I'll enable my first layer and I'll apply CC lens effect on it. Just like this and i'll unhide, unhide hide this third layer and let's make it 200 and start we'll go to one second create one keyframe on this size at two seconds i'll make it zero hit u so we are getting our keyframes so it we can as we can see our animation will look like this now hide this layer and enable this layer and I'll apply same effect over here and I'll also adjust this center over here now initially I'll make it size something like 0 create one keyframe hit U and go to 2 seconds and let's make it 200 so we are getting animation like this now enable this layers select both these keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor and adjust it so we will get something like this now what we will do is we will select this layer and we will just move it a little bit over here and something over here so we will get this kind of animation now our animation work is done now we will work on our glitch effect so hit ctrl a for selecting all this layer hit ctrl shift c to create a pre-comp i will call it as transition animation hit ok hit ctrl d three times select this third layer and i'll apply tint effect on it and instead of white color i'll choose red color in, uh, hide this layers as we can see we are getting some cool effect over here now uh, hide this second layer and apply same effect tint
create uh, one adjustment layer over here I'll make it full I'll apply turbulence display effect over here at this point I'll increase the size up to 200 and amount let's make it zero create one keyframe and amount at this point I'll make it 100 create one keyframe over here and at 4 seconds I'll make it 0 again if I choose my full we are getting something you can move it a little bit backward also we will apply alt click on this evolution tab and click time into 200 so we will get this kind of things select this keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes if you want then you can move this over here Now we will check this animation in full resolution. Or if you want, then you can increase this one over here. So now as you can see our transition will look like this. So yep this is our final glitch transition. Thank you for watching this tutorial guys. If you like this video then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.